Hi, um, today we're here with Kingsway Consulting um, in Scunthorpe. What we've been doing is an ATA service technician. We've had four candidates today um, and we're just about halfway through it. In fact, the guys have just gone for their exam. So uh, I'm just filling in and giving a little chat on what the ATA is all about. The, the ATA was designed to raise standards and quality within the industry. Um, it, it's designed, it's a test, it's a, a practical and theory test. Um, basically the guys come along, they um, put their hand up and suggested that they're up to a standard and they're willing to sort of be tested as it were. There's a couple of different routes for it. Um, you can go from service technician which is the lowest level uh, up to diagnostic technician and then from there on in up to master level. Okay. Additional to the uh, normal routes as I call them, the light vehicle, the mechanical routes, you can also do an air conditioning route, you can do a motorcycle route, you can do roadside assistance, there's many different routes, mechanical electrical trim, all of these are, are, are routes suited to an individual trade. The, the structure of the tests that they have to carry out, or the candidates have to, I keep calling them they, but the candidates have to take, is, is that it's, yes, it's the majority of it is actually practical. You do six practical tests. I mean, I'm talking purely service technician level, but they all follow the same route. What you have to do is you do six tests, six practical tests, and then you have to do a theoretical exam. Um, the, the tests are everyday things, but I'll give an example of the service technician, for instance. Uh, one of the tests would be to check brakes, another one would be steering alignment, um, timing belt, anything that really a, a service technician would do along the normal, his normal everyday work. Obviously it's under test conditions, so uh, everything has to be done right. The aims of the tests are, are to improve mechanic skills. When I say improve the skills, obviously you're coming with a set of skills, we can't improve them in an hour. Uh, but what it may do is it may make you rethink the way that you do things. A good example of that is perhaps um, doing brake disc run out, something that, that we've all forgotten since we were at college. Uh, but a lot of people now do a road test to check for brake judder. You could use brake disc run out in a, a 10 minute test just to identify that and save yourself an awful lot of money. Technicians must sign the code of conduct. Um, the code of conduct covers many things, but basically you must treat your customers correctly, you must do a good job. Um, but the main thing, or the main thing from my point of view, is that you must have a given obligation to say that you will use or keep up constant professional development. That's basically, you will go on a course, you will keep up to date, um, and you do sign to suggest that you will do that. Uh, a large number of mechanics or, or technicians as you want to call them who come here from workshops who they come on block uh, and, and what we do is we we identify trends um, it's a, it's quite a good way of identifying your weaknesses in your workshop it, it, it's not always a good idea to have one guy who does for instance electrical um, the other five will be showing up quite easily here when they come for the test um, so it, what we do is we identify weak, po weak points in the workshop or, or in your workforce and we can suggest a, a training program to cure the problems or, or if obviously it's not a quick course we can identify routes for you to, to cure the problems and, and identify the faults so obviously improving quality in your organisation. Uh, another benefit of the ATA is that your, your customers can identify good garages by uh, going on the ATA website. Um, another bonus from the ATA website as well is that you can do a, a self-assessment test to see at which level you're correct to come on this course. So uh, you can sort of identify your skills or, or yet yeah, again, even identify some of your weaknesses uh, to find out, go on the self-assessment on the ATA website on the internet. Very informative, um, makes you think a bit, um, makes you question how you do stuff and to make sure that you do it in the correct manner. The staff do give you little pointers which is very helpful as well.
to further develop the company and to help with the accreditation process, I believe. 